My name is Steven, and this is video number 15 in my video series called Introduction to Code Igniter. What I'll be showing you guys in this video is the URL helper. Um, we're going to take our nav and we're going to make it work. We're going to take our styling and we're going to make it external, link to an external style sheet. Then we're also going, I'll show you how to like link to images. I won't actually do it, but, um, and like script, like a JavaScript, just so you get the feel and kind of like the idea of what the workflow is like to be linking to external resources in a code igniter application. Okay, uh, so let's get started. First thing we'll do is we will auto load that uh, the URL helper. So what we'll do is we'll go into application config and then open the auto load.php file and then down in helpers, we will load this URL helper, save it up. Second thing we have to do for the URL helper is um, there's a little bit more config configuration. Go into the config.php file in the config folder and the base URL, we actually have to set this. Um, where we get that from is the browser. Basically, everything before and including the folder that or the name of your CodeIgniter project. For example, mine is basic site and that's in my local host. So I'm going to take the folder name and everything before that. Copy it and we'll just paste it right in there. You don't need that backslash at the end. I think it puts it, puts it in there for you. Um, but I found the only way I've done it is without one and it works fine without it. So we'll save that up. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll, we'll open up our nav view and we'll start linking to different controllers, or different functions in the controller. Um, so we'll go site underscore nav. And here we have these empty, just with the hashtags. So we'll open up our PHP tags here. And we'll go echo out base underscore URL. And then I'll just uh, I'll just do it and explain after. So we'll go the controller name and the and the function name. Just going to copy and paste all of this. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm linking to functions in the controller. We do the base URL, then the controller name, and the function in the controller. If we save this, we can actually see that, yeah, I'm just gonna refresh this. Now our nav is actually linking properly. So if we check out the page source of this, and scroll down and we can see localhost basics site site and then home so all that's doing is echoing out echoing out what's in our base url so you don't have to type it every time and then you can reference things um inside or other than that like uh the controller and then a function of that controller or this next thing which is uh actual folders in the root directory of your code igniter application so in this case we could Go into say like application, see how there's. I'll delete this. Um, okay, ignore that. Um, there's three main folders in my basic site. In my basic site application, which is the coding editor application. Um, what we can actually do is create more folders in here, like styles, which you just saw me delete because I messed up in a previous try of this video <laughs> and forgot to delete it. Um, so we'll create a new uh, folder. And then we'll actually put our style.css. This will be the external style sheet. And now if I go into my site header and copy all of this styling information, we'll actually cut this so it doesn't do it twice. Paste it in here. I'm just going to control A and shift tab to get everything all lined up and pretty. Save it. Now if I go back into my header, site underscore header view. I'm actually just going to um, load this external resource just like I would um, any other external style sheet. So we'll just go type equals text slash CSS, and then that should do the trick. And then for this, we open up our PHP tags again, echo the base URL.
and then the folder name, which is styles, and then the file name. So if we save this, and we still have styling, that means it worked. And it didn't work. So what went wrong? Let's check out the page source. Um, it is trying to get stuff here. Basically, why is the background color blue? That doesn't make sense. And oh, I forgot to put rel is equal to style sheet. And that should fix the problem. Yes, okay, good. So now we officially have page linking done and we're loading from an external style sheet which is right here I don't know why that's open twice location yeah so um the last thing i want to do is well i'll show you how to like load in um some external scripts too so go new file or not new file delete this new folder which is pretty common in mo pretty common in most applications. Here we'll create like some test.js, just like a really simple alert to see if it's working. And if it's working, then it will alert us and tell us that. Um, so if I go into, if you don't know any JavaScript, just just type that. I promise you it'll work. Um, next we'll go. We'll actually link to this script um, source is equal to then again our PHP tags echo base underscore URL scripts slash test dot JS, which is the file that we just made. We actually don't need that anymore. It's been proven. So, when we refresh, we get that alert saying it's working. Sure enough, isn't that cool? So, we are now linking to an external style sheet. We are we have our page linking working awesome, and it's working in every page. So when I change the page, I get that alert. And actually, that's getting annoying already. So I will go into test.js and remove that. Save it up, and now it's not doing it anymore. Sweet. Um, and that's it for this video. That's the URL helper. Um, it's extremely useful because it gives you that uh, base URL function and you don't have to type in your base URL every time. I guess one more one, one more quick little thing. If you had images, you could also link to them by creating an images folder in that root directory. Um, you could also like create a resources folder and put all of, all of like the script styles and images folder in that resources folder. That's what a lot of people do. That's what I've done in, my pre in some of my past projects. But in, in this case, I like to just kind of keep everything just right here. Um, and if you had images, you could just link to that images folder and then the image inside of that, and it would work just splendidly. So um, that's the URL helper. Thanks for watching.